Hey guys, happy Vlogmas. Um, this is probably the video that no one really needed or asked for, um, because it's not that complicated, but I wanted to show you how I cut out my Peanuts Planner Coat inserts. This uh, is upside down. This is just a Fiskars paper cutter that I got, I want to say at Joann's. It could have been at Michael's. I think it was at Joann's. Um, it's not, you know, the fanciest in the world, but it does have this wire guide, which is very handy. You line that wire guide up with the cut marks, which you probably can't see, but it comes with a nice little X or cross in the middle here. Just line that up. Slice. Um, I'm doing two at a time right now. I've done up to like three at a time before, I think. Uh, let's see. So I do the middle cuts first. And I line those up. Now, there are also outside cuts, uh, cut marks. I could not tell you off the top of my head what size, th this is Filofax pocket size. I could not tell you what the dimensions are precisely. Um, I think to be precise, you would have to give them in millimeters and I honestly don't even know. And this cut, this cutter only has inches on it anyway. So I don't actually go by these cut marks because I cut all my um, inserts to be four and three quarter inches tall, just slightly, just slightly taller, um, and three and one quarter inches wide, which is a little bit wider. Um, you probably can't see these cut marks at all. Anyway, um, I just find it's kind of easier that like it's a, a number that I can remember. And, uh, that way, I don't know, I don't have to worry about the cut marks, which are helpful, but not necessary if you can measure. So I do go by the cut marks for the middle, um, and then everything else. And you'll see it's, uh, a little bit, for whatever reason, a little off center, um, but anyway, it's not a huge deal. Anyway. So yeah, this is just how it's done. I got a whole bunch of these inserts as I explained in the last video um, from Peanuts Planner Co. 4 by Black Friday Sale, or their Black Friday Sale. I was so looking forward to getting some of these inserts purchased and set up. And uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing over the course of the next couple of videos and the next couple of days. Um, it's kind of going to be, uh, I'm trying to revamp my planning system a little bit. Because, um, you know, sometimes you start feeling overwhelmed by things and like you need to do something slightly different. And so... As you try things out, they seem like a great idea, but they're actually unwieldy, so we'll see. We'll see. But I'm going to be using a monthly tracker instead of a weekly tracker. See what I think of that. Um, I'm going to be using dailies and weeklies in separate sections of my planner instead of listed together. We'll see what we think of that. And my baby's waking up. I only need one of these, so I'm just going to set the rest aside. All right, this is complicated, more complicated. This is the fold out, the fold out kind, which I have never used before. So I'm going to go ahead and cut along the top guide here. Let's see, should I fold it next? Maybe I should have folded it first. Ish, ish, 
fish. Something like that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and slice using the guide on this side. It's a little mark right up here. Then I'll leave it folded, maybe. Oh, yeah, see? Gotta line it up with the side that's already cut. I'm going to do this slightly differently with the next one. See which method works best. Alright, um,. This needs to be three and a quarter inches. There we go, that gives us plenty of room. And then this needs to be four and three quarter inches. So I'm ignoring the guide for this side. And, is that right? Oh, I think I folded it wrong. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And then it folds out like that. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's try that again. We're going to try folding it first. So we fold this way. I'm kind of pinching it where the guide is. Because that's where you can actually see it. Um, then lay it flat against the edge. There we go. And I'll sort of crease that. So fold first. I don't know if that's, if there's, I wonder if this comes with instructions. <laughs> okay, it does not have guides on the other side. So since, since it's a lot easier to fold it this direction, I'm going to do that and then flip it. Exactly the same way. Edge. Not quite as. I could use my finger now. I'm just going to flip this the other direction. There we go. And that looks pretty good. The amount of space between the edge and the uh, the printed stuff. It's pretty pretty straight. So that's good. Okay. So we'll use uh, this guide here to slice the top. This guide here to cut the side. Or no, uh, this, this guide to cut the side. That wasn't supposed to rhyme. And then three and one quarter. Beautiful. That. All right. This is a normal one. Let's look at these monthlies real quick. These are also foldouts, but there's only one fold on the side. And is there a guide for it? No. There's not a guide for it. So, let's cut it in half first. Right. It'll just be easier to fold if it's not as long. Okay. Use the guide for this side. Measure for the top. And I think this is fine. It doesn't matter exactly how big it how wide it is, 
as much with the fallout. So, let's see. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a estimated crease, basically just between. There we go. Sort of eyeballing it, and then I'll just fold it and then line it up with the edges. There we go. I did not um, worry too much about getting this design to print all the way to where it needed to. It was just kind of just to have something there. Alright, so let's do the rest of these and the rest of these. Okay, um, so I have a whole big stack here that needs punching. This came from Amazon. I know I unboxed it, I think, when I got my first ring planner. So it's the Rapesco, and it does a good number. Let me see. I think I can do four at a time here. And it's pretty handy that it's got a little guide here. It's this pocket. So you just sort of align everything there. I when I cut everything out, I make sure to put it in the pile here with um, the hole punch side on one side of the stack. And there we go. So that uh, let's let's make let's make a pile of stuff here. <laughs> Okay, so we've got now a whole stack. Baby wants to see the camera. <laughs> we've got a whole stack here of inserts. Um, these are not all going straight into the planner. I have sort of a really messy haphazard pile of unused inserts um, that need organizing, um, but that's where they're gonna go and I'll just pull out the couple that I need as I'm doing my setup. Um, I'm gonna do a couple setup videos. I think I mentioned that. Um, of a couple of these inserts. So you will get to see that in upcoming videos. Don't forget to subscribe because I am posting videos every day until Christmas. See you in the next one. Bye.